Hello guys, welcome back to LandApp. For today's video, we are going to show you how to create a bug in Canva website. So, if you're interested, let's start tutorial. So, if you're looking for a way to create your own blog here using Canva website, or in this case using Canva, well, there are going to be a few things that you need to know and you need to do here in order for you to create one. But first, let's go and discuss what is Canva. So Canva is a platform that allows you to create different projects for design. Uh, maybe like for example, a digital post, a base, uh, post for Facebook, Instagram. So it applies or you could basically use your designs here on different platforms. Now the great thing about Canva as well is you can create your own website. But the thing with their website building here, it's not that um, in this case uh, have a lot of tools. So it's not complex at all. It's pretty simple. But then again, with that said, there are going to be some limitations that we need to know. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and start creating our website here, specifically for blogs. So, in this case, let's go ahead and click on the Create Design at the top left here. And basically, you have a number of options. Now, since uh, a blog is a website that you can create, you can just click on the website option here. But we want to take this a lot uh, further more uh, further here and basically use a template. So that's what's great here with Canva is you can use templates to basically start or jumpstart your design, which some is something really cool here if you're going to ask me. So if you click on what would you like to create here and just just type in blog there are going to be different options you have here to have blog banner blog a graphic we have blog website let's go and choose blog website here now from here you will now have the option to basically choose a website that you may want to start using so by the way this is the blank option here but the left side you have templates that you could use so obviously you could go and just scroll down a bit here look for a very specific design that you may want to start using so maybe I want to use the very first one here at the left side. Let's go and click on it. Now, in this case, you could go and just start editing this uh, in what way you want. So in this case, you just go ahead and click on it and uh, basically click on the background. If you want to change the background, like change the color, make it gray, make it brown or whatever uh, color you want. But I want to keep this as is. And the great thing about Canva here is if you upload your own photos, as you can see, I've uploaded my own photo here. You can go and click on upload an image or a video here. You can just basically upload which uh, whatever photo you want, as you can see, and just I, I just drag it into the photo section here, and that is automatically uploaded in here. But yeah, so you can go and click on the elements that you have here. So you can just uh, highlight them. So let me uh, update them. So let's just say this is going to be uh, my name. So you could go and just add uh, whatever information here, your location, if you want to include that, and just basically add the description. Now, you also have the option to edit a few things. By the way, you could add additional photos here. If you're not aware, go to Elements and go to See All for your photos. Like, for example, I want to add, like, a rocket in here. Let's just type in Rocket. Click on See All for Graphics. And you just basically choose whichever one I want. So I want to use this one. And you could go and just click on this graphic, change the color for this one, and just use whichever one you want. Maybe I want to use this one. And as you can see, we now have that small rocket into our blog. Now, from here, how do we start our blog? Well, this one is going to be definitely going to be easy. Because in order for you to add different sections into your blog, you just need to click on the Add Page option. And it will automatically add that section for us. Which in this case, you could just be start adding whatever information you want. So, for example, if you want to add a bio page section first, you just add, start adding your bio. So, you just need to uh, know a few things. Like, if you want to add text, you want to go to text here. Just click on add a text box. Uh, you can add like a heading. For example, this is just a heading. You can add your description here. And if you go to elements, you could go and just search an image that you may want to start using. Like, for example, let's go and click on see all here for images that we can use. So maybe I want to start using this. Let's drag it in here. But obviously, you could go and just uh, basically uh, choose or just type in the name or keyword that you want to use for uh, searching specific images here. Now, in this case, you could just go ahead and just start uh, start adding whatever. But by the way, you could also have the magic right here, which allows you to basically uh, write 
um, pro basically user prompt to generate uh, content for you or your uh, text for you here. Now, in this case, uh, you could go just add whatever. Ob like I said before here, you could add like, graphics, which in this case, the limitation is going to be your ima imagination here. But yeah. So in this case, for example, this is going to be our bio. Just type in bio. And the great thing about this one is if you click on this one, double click on it, you should have the option to add links in it. If you click on the three dot option, click on link. Now you could go and just add the second page here. So you can see second page and click on done. So if someone actually clicks on the bio link here, it will redirect them to the second page here. But yeah, you could go, you could go and do this for every uh, post or, or, or in this case navigation you have here. But how do we start our uh, blog here? So in this case, you click on app page. Now from here, uh, I wanna do a few things. So in this case, one of the designs that you could try doing here is uh, this one. So for example, I wanna add this one. Make sure that I cover the whole thing here. Now, this is just a design example that you could try doing here, but obviously you could go ahead and use your own idea. So for example, this is going to be our heading. So let's just say uh, this is going to be day one, or like you can just, uh, add a dash to it, my life, and you could add your text here. Now you could go ahead and click on magic right if you want. So you click on try it out. So about my day being good. And just click on the generate uh, option here. And from here, you could go ahead and just start using this. Let's go ahead and click on insert and it will insert our text. Now obviously you could go ahead and change it a few uh, up a few things. Like first I resize it, add like maybe like margins uh, on the sides so that it's not confusing and maybe let's go and align this at the left side as you can see right now maybe you reduce uh the actual text size and add more margin and also you can change the font size if you're not aware yet you could go ahead and choose it whatever font here but yeah so in this case this is one of the signs i try doing so you can go ahead and just do this for every time that you have a uh, post that you have now if you want to add like a second day you can go and click on app page here and same thing uh just add whatever content you want but by the way uh if you want to have a different uh, view in this one because obviously this is how it's going to look from first second page third page and uh, fourth page so you could go and click on the bottom right here to view in thumbnail view so that you have an overview of it so this is quite uh, different but yeah so in this case like for example if you want to add like day two so let's go and just uh, duplicate this i don't want to duplicate it so just in case you want to use the same design so uh, you could just add this a uh, day two and just add whatever information here. So in this case, instead of being showing a day one first in your web, uh, website here, you could just uh, drag your day two page here to the very first star here uh, before day one. So it will show day two, which in this case, people could already see uh, information about your day or your blog here. So it's just an update to your website. So just to give you an idea here, just going to scroll view. And as you can see, this is the very top, our bio, and then day two immediately, which is something really helpful here so that you can manage your uh, posts in uh, your website here for Canva. Now, if you want to share this, you can go and click on publish this website to top right. And you can just add your website URL, like for example, NC's blog. Click on publish website. And it, start, it should start preparing your website here. This might take a while, so just wait for it. But in this case, you could go and just copy the URL here, click on view website here, and you could go, you could go and just share this to whoever would like to view your blog as you can see here now. This is what it looks like. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Lineup. Thank you for watching.